One night down, two to go, as some of the top rodeo athletes in the world compete at the Cinch Playoffs in Sioux Falls. Couple Lands' Travis Fossing tells us what kind of reception the competitors received from the fans at the Premier Center. The opening round of the richest rodeo in South Dakota history is in the books. Lots of moving and shaking going on in the world standings. This rodeo has such huge implications. Garrett Urigan is a two-time PRCA Announcer of the Year. He says plenty of competitors have already earned a spot in the top 15 and national finals rodeo, but many have not, and for some, it's out of their hands. There's some events where the 15, 16, 17 guys are sitting at home. They didn't qualify to come here, so they're just kind of sitting and waiting with bated breath to see if they get a chance in Las Vegas or if they're getting kicked out here this weekend. Dreams are going to be made and dreams are going to be broken. Josh Hilton is the music director. I always sound like the oil to the engine, keeping things moving, uh, keeping the beat going, building intensity when it, uh, the time calls for it, creating excitement when that happens. The fans also brought the excitement on Thursday. The fans in South Dakota are so awesome. I mean, rodeo is your state sport, so, you know, that's what's so cool to come here. The fans understand rodeo. They appreciate rodeo. The crowd is one of the keys to a good rodeo as the competitors feed off their energy. The energy from the fans is what fuels the fire, I guess. It's what drives their passion. There was only one state that could host an event like this, and it's South Dakota. If you're on the fence about attending, Urigan says it's worth the price of admission. You want to make sure that you don't get left out in the cold because uh, tonight and tomorrow, uh, I'll just go ahead and say it, it'll be the best rodeo you've ever seen. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. He's a pretty good PR man, wouldn't you say? The Central Playoffs continue tonight at 7.30 at the Premier Center, and they wrap up tomorrow night at 7.30. We provided the link with ticket information under this story on Kelloland.com.